You are listening to TF Talk News, part of the TF Talk network of podcasts and live streams, where we give you the most relevant current stories in your fandom and more, all within 30 quick minutes or less. I'm your host, Mr. Starscream, and I'll be your guide to everything worth talking about that transformed since last episode. It's your old Starscream. I am the new leader of the Decepticons. From now on, you will take orders from me. <laughs> Discover more of our great shows at tftalk.net and follow us on social media channels at tfylp. Ah, uh, just another day in paradise, am I right, folks? This was a particularly slow news week, so I'm just going to drag this out as long as I can. Well, one thing I can announce is that we've changed up the music bed this time to be fully attributed to our favorite musical artist, Surrender. All the tunes you hear in this episode are available for purchase and download by visiting surrender-official.bandcamp.com. These are tracks that would even get the rigid toes of Soundwave a tappin. Well, that's enough yammering on for now. It's time for the reveals. This week, the tumbleweeds just rolled on by as Transformerland suffered a seven-day drought. But come Friday, the skies opened up and poured the rains of salvation in the form of our second HasLab Unicron email update from Hasbro. It appears that the tools have been fabricated and the first test shots have been fired through the molds. Hasbro even shared an image of the actual steel mold for Unicron's head, which gives a real sense of scale for the size of the molds that we don't usually get a good look at. We were treated to a small cluster of photos of what Hasbro called the T1 sample, meaning it's the rough first run of plastic through the molds before the process of refinement begins. This sample is made of a mishmash of different plastic colors to help identify which pieces belong to which molds they came from. At this point, problem areas need to be identified like spots where joints are too tight or too loose, and over the long process of focused trial and error, a refined final product will come to life. The photos shared of the T1 sample are very reminiscent to test shots that used to be somewhat prevalent on eBay earlier this decade. These have been sought after by many a super collector in the day, and usually, the wilder the mismatched colors, the better. This Unicron sample would be the capstone of any prototype hunter's collection, but it's not likely that samples with such a high profile as HasLab Unicron will find their way out of the hands of Hasbro employees anytime soon. And finally, digital mock-ups of the shipping box for HasLab Unicron were shared as the capstone to this blog update on the toy. The box features some illustrations of Unicron in planet mode, his disintegrating head, Cybertron, some floating Decepticons, and a Quintesson corkscrew ship. The packaging can be described as understated at best, but it's clear the team chose to focus on function over form. This box seems sturdy and practical, going so far as to even have cutout lifting handles on the sides. Overall, this was a very welcome update and hopefully calmed the nerves of anyone still doubting this project. Progress is being made despite the current world situation and we should be satisfied continuing to bide our time from our highly dubious bargaining postures. It has come to my attention that a few scrupulous individuals have felt the tug of buyer's remorse and posted on various social media platforms asking how they could get a refund. (laughs) Well, friend, the time for that passed long ago. And transactions processed for this project adhere to terms outside of the usual online purchases or pre-orders. There was a lot of fine print to read, and the window for refunds has long since passed. To anyone looking for a refund, I offer you this piece of advice. Stay the course. And by the time Unicron makes landfall, your investment in this project could potentially pay off in spades and help out another unlucky soul that was unable to become a backer during the time frame. I accept your terms! Do not grieve. Soon, I shall be one with the Matrix. On the shelf. As far as currently available product, I received a very interesting confirmation this week via customer service at online store Zavi. Apparently, Hasbro has mandated a May 30th release date for the Netflix War for Cybertron Walmart exclusives. 
This is likely the reason for the delays of Walmart's pre-orders that originally promised to deliver in April, even though some have already been showing up at physical stores. With the premiere of the episodes on Netflix slated for June, it seems the toy line launch was intended to coincide with the airing of this show. So consider yourself lucky if you snagged a few early by going out to Walmart stores, but remember, always wear your mask and gloves. In third-party news, it appears that the hard-to-find Decepticon Justice Division figures from Mastermind Creations are getting a second run. Big Bad Toy Store put up a new batch of pre-orders for the first three characters, Anarchus, Cynicus, and Coulter, as 2020 reissues. If you miss these James Roberts-created favorites the first time, you're getting a second chance, so be sure to hit that buy button before it's too late. It is too late. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, everyone. Thanks for listening, and we'll see what kind of plastic flowers the rains of April have cultivated for us as the weeks go on by this month. Thanks to Surrender for providing us with a few new tunes for this week. Maybe now I don't have to listen to the staff get on my case anymore, but we all know that's not likely. Enjoy your week! The TF Talk Network exists due to the efforts of an enthusiastic collection of Transformers fans across North America and beyond. Check out our variety of shows like Microcasters, Ouch My Wallet, Cut the Tape, and our flagship show featuring a rotating all-star cast, TFYLP, which has been running for over 10 years. The cast at the TF Talk Network is always growing, so if you have a desire to participate, reach out to us via any of our social platforms at TFYLP. The TF Talk cast is on Discord, you can join us for free by typing bit.ly slash tftalkdiscord in the browser of your choice. Intro and outro score provided by Surrender. You can find Surrender at surrender-official.bandcamp.com. Directly support our shows and keep us on the air by becoming a monetary supporter of TFYLP on Patreon. Donations through Patreon are used to cover production and server expenses that keep our shows running and are not distributed to individual staff members. If you have any comments or feedback, you can directly email the show at tftalknews at tftalk.net, and we'd love to read some of your comments on the air. And if you've got a hot news tip, send it my way! So seriously, if anyone actually wants to sell their Unicron pre-orders, I'm buying. One box trash is another's treasure, right? You know how to email me. I fear the wounds are fatal. Friendship.